Hey guys, welcome to Body Bags. This is your Wednesday host, Matt, from You and Your Horror Movies. And this week we are doing uh, diseases, infection, contamination, that type of shit. <coughs> so my movie that I picked is Mulberry Street. Now you can't see it from the, the sticker. From, I got a little Best Buy sticker on there. It says, a zombie film, a zombie film that breaks the mold. Alright, to me, this is not a zombie film. This is more of an infection film. And I'll give you my reasons why. There's probably going to be some hate on this. Sorry, this is what I think it is. I don't see anything to do with zombies at all. You have your main character. His name is Clutch. He is a retired boxer. And he lives in this eh, run-down uh, apartment building. And you're introduced with more characters. His neighbor is a uh, gay black man. Uh, there is an old gentleman that lives upstairs. He is a retired World War II ex demolition expert. <clears throat> Across from him is a blonde woman who kind of has a thing for Clutch, and Clutch has a thing for her. And her son, who happens to be like 17, 18, and Clutch is more of a father figure for him. Um, there's also another gentleman who lives around the area. <clears throat> He's kind of like a Mr. Anybody, Nobody. He gets into everybody's uh, business. He, uh, you know, goes down, have drinks, buys lottery tickets, you know, all over the place. This place, this movie takes place in Manhattan. Uh, you also have Clutch's daughter, who is a, um, she got scarred in the war, or scarred across seas. She comes home to visit her father. She got scarring all over her face, cuts. So she has to make her way through uh, Manhattan to get here, to get to the apartment. So far, during the movie, you see a lot of helicopters going by, some ambulances here and there driving through, you know, typical shit. Uh, the news, there's a lot of different news uh, flashes coming onto the TVs. You know, people are attacked by rats in this area. Uh, stay away, many people are being sick in this area, you know. The weird shit that happens, but no one's like, eh, it's New York, whatever. So later on, <clears throat> uh, you have the superintendent going around, fixing everything. He's down in the basement trying to fix the water, and he sees this weird disease rat just hanging there. So he puts a glove on, picks it up, you know, looks at it and says, eh, it's a rat. He decides to be some stupid and touch it with his bare hand. <laughs> the rat bites him, and now he's gets this weird infection. And what is cool is you can see the transformation of the infection going through. He starts growing hair on his ears, his nose starts getting pointed, black rings around his eyes, teeth are getting a little pointier. So meanwhile, there's more news things, uh, news events happening where more people are getting sick, a lot of people are getting attacked by rats, so they started closing areas of the subway. Well. Uh, Clutch's daughter is trying to get home, and of course she has to go through parks and everything. She finds, you know, a bike on the side where there's a backpack covered in blood. Uh, so she's trying to move along to get home. Also, uh, people start acting more weirder, especially when the, uh, the blonde woman goes to work. She goes into the bar, and, you know, she's a, she's a bartender. People start getting a little nauseous, uh, normals are starting to act weird. One guy was talking to the blind woman saying, hey, he got attacked by some crackhead and he got bit. So, later on the movie, people start getting mutating into these weird rat-like creatures. You get in the, the nose. The only thing they're missing is the tail. So pretty much you got everything going on in this film. It's very, very gory. Now... Here's the thing where it differentiates from a zombie film. Zombies, people die, they come back to dead, and they're zombies. They go around eating people. Well, these people are bit, but they're not dead. They get infected. Then they start mutating into these rat creatures. And they start eating people. The people that they eat are dead, and they stay dead. They don't come back to life. There are some scenes where people get attacked, but we don't know if they're dead or they get away. Most of the times they probably get away, and they come back as these rat-like creatures. 
But in the scene, usually when a zombie kills somebody, they get, they turn into a zombie, get up, and move along. Here in these scenes, they see a lot of dead people in the streets. They're staying dead. They're not getting up. They're not becoming rat zombies. They're not becoming zombies at all. They're just dead. Except for the people who got bit. Because they're explaining tons of people are getting bit by rats. So therefore, this is not a zombie film. So I don't know why they put that a zombie film on here. It's not. It's an infection film. Even when some of the main characters get dragged off. They don't show them getting killed. They just show them getting dragged off and bit. They might get away, but later on they start mutating and becoming rats. It looks like from the, the viewer that it looks like they get killed, but they don't. They, they don't show any death scenes. They just show them like drag through windows, pretty much. A lot of cool shit. Like I said, a lot of gore. A uh, very cool ending. The ending is kind of lift up to like a uh, uh, interpretation a little bit, but I enjoyed this film a lot. Uh, so this is the um, second series of After Dark. I think this is the second best in the film. If you have never seen this film, definitely give this a watch. This is a lot of fun. A lot of cool shit. Um, yeah, so guys, check this movie out if you've never seen it. I'll give this probably a, an 8 out of 10 on this one. This was a lot, a lot of fun. Alright guys, thanks for watching. You know, like, subscribe, please post the comments down below, and stay healthy. Take care, guys. Peace.